Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, all right, I know I'm back so soon, but basically I just wanted to undo <laughs> some definitions that I seem to have defined. Like, I'm really a big fan of these sweeping generalizations of like, bad things happen to good people, or life is hard, or bleh. I don't even know. You know, just like general sweeping ideas about life. However, I woke up yesterday, you know, I made that video on Sunday about bad things happening, because they do happen sometimes, and I woke up yesterday morning really early. I watched the sunrise before I biked to work, and I just realized in that moment that I was happy and how lucky I felt to be alive, which sounds really corny. I mean, I think every day is not a given and that we're all pretty lucky um, to be here. But what I realized was that, honestly, like things that have happened in the past are really easy to let go. So a couple of the situations that I mentioned were just like concrete. It was like, I didn't, you know, get to meet up with somebody, there was a fire, and another really bad letdown happened. So those three things just, they happened. So they're done. The only thing that I could really do is forgive and, well, not forget, but honestly, when something like negative happens, like. I don't even know on that end, like, probably stunk on that end, right? So if this negativity came at, at me, it came from somewhere else and it probably like passed through this other person as like this vessel, and then it was just like, really it's none of, it's not, it's nobody's fault. It's really nobody's fault that bad things have to happen. So that being said, um, there is one situation which is still ongoing, but I'm feeling more optimistic about it. Honestly, I feel very optimistic about it. So that's one that I can be worried and feel all torn up about. So that's what's, that's what's keeping me up at night is the ongoing one. But the things that already happened, you know what? Like, there's no such thing as just a bad person. I don't know. I mean, I, there can't be, right? So what I realized was that what really upset me about <laughs> everything that happened um, and everything that went down was one, it was a lot all at once. And uh, I like, honestly, it was a lot all at once. So probably I would have handled things a lot better. <laughs> in my mind and emotionally if it hadn't been all at once. But two, most importantly, is that I could either be a vessel that negativity passes through or I could be one that stops the negativity and instead continues to put love out into the world. So obviously you know <laughs> what I'm gonna choose. I mean, um, I woke up and I watched the sunrise and I was just like, you know what? Like I'm. God, it's in here, you know, just, I will channel it back out. I just didn't have the energy this weekend to channel it back out, but I do now, even though I haven't had coffee yet, but I do now, and it's honestly, that's what I'm going to do moving forward. Also, I just wanted to say that probably something that really bothers me about the world, like, constantly, is not understanding things. Like, I just love to know and to understand and to have things make sense and just like in whatever way like I just love honesty and truth and genuine people like I always say I'm on the quest for happiness and genuine people and I seriously mean it like I, that's that's the reason I get up every day but um, what I realized with that was of course things that I don't know the answers to are going to make me uncertain and and unhappy and questioning things but not everything can be explained so <laughs> my friend shared with me this Carl Jung quote and I just wanted to share that with you guys because Honestly, for the things that you can't control in life, I think this quote really helps. It really helped me. So, before I end with this guy by Carl Jung, I just wanted to say that I am going to continue being the positivity vessel that I always have been and always will be. And I forgive and I move forward. And hey, life's a very great. All right, so to end with this quote before it really starts downpouring on me right now. We must sense that we live in a world which in some respects is mysterious, that things happen and can be experienced which remain inexplicable, that not everything which happens can be anticipated. The unexpected and the incredible belong in this world. Only then is life whole. For me, this world has, from the beginning, been infinite and ungraspable. And that is just Fine. Now it's really raining. All right. Have a great Tuesday, guys. Peace. Oh, and I'll be back with a lot of cool stuff soon. I got to really get motivated on this album thing. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>